Howdy, this is Rick Perry, and it's my honor to be with you as we present the 2013 Lex Frieden Employment Awards. Now, these awards, named after the disability rights champion, annually go to organizations and individuals who have gone above and beyond to ensure all Texans have a chance to put their notable skills and talents to use in the workplace. Tonight, I'm pleased to join you in celebrating these individuals and institutions who are making a true impact in their communities for this important cause. The Army and Air Force Exchange Service of Dallas, which has made diversity and inclusion the central values in their mission and vision statements. Target Medallion Store in Dallas where workforce training, hiring, and support of all of its employees means a productive, inclusive environment. Stencor of Jacksonville, which serves as a role model for small businesses in small towns, actively promoting a commitment to diversity and support for every employee in the workforce. The Rise Center of Beaumont, where the concept of independent living and community support is foremost in the practice of hiring people at all levels. The Panhandle Coalition for Transition Services, which has implemented its Living Independently Through Education project, ensuring a successful career path for many students with disabilities. Rebecca Page, who created her own art studio and co-op, Living My Dreams, where she hones her own artistic talents and helps others develop their own gift for art. John Bramblett of Denton, whose beautiful painting, Cowboy Sunset, was used as a design for this year's Texas poster for National Disability Employment Awareness Month. And finally, this year's Governor's Trophy winner, Carol Schubert, President and CEO of PCSI Inc., who has built his business around his conviction that with opportunity and support, people with disabilities will excel in the workplace. Gig them, Carol. Anita and I congratulate and thank tonight's winners. Through their hard work and the hard work of all Texans with disabilities, we can continue to make our state the best place in the country to live, work, and raise a family. God bless you all. And through you, may he continue to bless the great state of Texas.